What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series, Fennec Shand, Throne Room Boba Fett, and Bib Fortuna. First off, I do want to point out that obviously this is the Return of the Jedi Bib Fortuna and not the Book of Boba Fett Bib Fortuna because they have not made him in the 6 inch scale yet. So we're still going to unbox Bib um, in this review just because I Figured I still have them in box. Might as well do a little review of them while I do these two. I'm going to focus more on these two in the review more than so him. But we are going to start off with Bib first. So let's crack Bib out of the packaging. We'll get a quick read here on the bio first. If you guys want to read that, go ahead, pause it. And yeah, let's get this uh, Twi'lek out of the box. All right, so here is Mr. Bib Fortuna out of the package. And for accessories, he does come with three tiny little, it looks like they're cups. I would just consider these to be like cups or something that he brings to Jabba or that he's serving around. I don't even know what Bib does, to be honest. <laughs> um, and also, I don't even know if he is actually a Twi'lek or not. I just kind of assumed he was because of uh, this thing on his head. But he actually couldn't be. I don't know. He could be a different race, but... Looking at the figure here, uh, it's a really rubbery figure. There are lots of rubber all around. I'm noticing now that these pieces clip off, which is weird because why would you want these pieces to clip off? I don't think we've ever seen Bib without his uh, robe on, so very weird. But he's definitely a must-have character in your collection. Like You need Bib Fortuna standing by Jabba there, and I have to say... He did a pretty good job on the likeness here. The face is really nice. I like the blue shading in there to give him that weird, gross, like, I don't know, alien look. It just looks really nice. It's all around his his back uh, tentacle thing there. So that looks really cool. Um, yeah, let's go over his articulation. Really, he's going to be hard to kind of articulate with this uh, robe on. There is some slits in the side, though, so we can... Stick his arms through a little bit, but yeah, for articulation, it's going to look pretty basic for this guy. You're not going to be able to get him to do anything. You probably can't even get him to sit down because he's wearing this uh, this rubber robe, right? But you don't really need him to sit. He's really just going to stand by Jabba on the shelf and look all creepy and weird. So he'll do the trick. His, uh, his fingers are pretty gross, too. It's one thing I remember from the movie is his hands being very gross. So... There's Bib. His feet are really skinny, too. I forgot to point that out. Really skinny feet on here. Um, it almost all looks like all new mold, too. Like, I thought maybe these pants would have been the same as the Lando, but they look a little different. They look a little skinnier. Um, but, yeah, you're not going to be bending these knees as much. He's literally going to be in a vanilla pose on my shelf, so... Decent figure, a must-have. Return of the Jedi is probably my favorite Star Wars movie, so he was a must. Let's bring in the Book of Boba Fett characters. We're going to start with Fennec Shand. Right, here's Fennec Shand out of the packaging, and she's looking really nice, man. Let's look at her accessories first. She comes with this uh, sniper blaster, I guess you can call it. We see her use this in uh, The Mandalorian and in Boba Fett, Book of Boba. Um, it looks pretty cool. It's a gun we haven't seen before, so I'm digging that. The strap is removable. Uh, it came off pretty easily, actually, when I picked it up. Uh, but it ports in decently, so you can probably hang that over her shoulder if you want. Um, she also does come with her helmet. Uh, really badass-looking helmet. We see her, obviously, in Bad Batch and uh, in The Mandalorian wearing this. So, pretty cool. Moving on to the figure, she looks very nice. The detail, even though it's mostly black, it looks really nice. Um, if you guys can see there, just like the patterns on her arm, it's all like detailed, looks really nice. The likeness too is great, by the way, it really looks like the actress. She's an awesome actress, she's been in a lot of stuff. Um, Perfect, perfect, uh, perfect character in my opinion. I don't know. I just, I just think she's badass. One of the cooler characters from Boba Fett. Let's try her helmet on here and see uh, how it looks. Uh, 
don't know exactly how it goes on. Looks like this piece, this broke on me. <laughs> so this piece, I don't know if it's broken or if it's supposed to be like that for you to fit her head in there, but let's try. Live on camera. I don't know if I'm gonna be actually posing her with this helmet on anyways, because she barely wears it. But it is a cool accessory to have. It's not really fitting well on her head. I don't know if it's her ponytail that's getting in the way or, or what, but yeah, it's just not fitting on as well. I feel like that doesn't look really good. <laughs> then again, I could just uh, be putting it on wrong or it could be a faulty one. But for, for me, I don't think I'm gonna be posing her with that, with that on. I think she looks way better with it off. The likeness is great, the hair detail, everything. She's a quite short character too. Like if we can bring in Bib here, we just reviewed, it's quite taller than her, makes sense. Uh, but yeah, short little figure, articulation wise, could probably get some decent poses with her. Um, they could have made this part soft, uh, soft goods, I guess, but it's a soft enough rubber where if you want to get her bending her knees or doing something like that, you can get her in that kind of pose. Let's see how she holds her gun here. Let's see if we can get this gun in her hand. Uh, yeah, it looks all right, I guess. I am jealous that the vintage collection is getting the, uh, the Jabba's throne room set. I was tempted to uh, pick it up or get it, pre-order it, or whatever, just for my black series, but the scale is going to look way off. So I don't know. I, I might be an impulse buy and just keep it in box in the future, but she looks cool. I think they could have gave us that little bottle that she's holding at the end of, uh, what is it, Mandalorian season two? Um, where she's sitting on the throne with Boba looking all badass with Boba on the throne. So yeah, they could have included that little drink accessory with her. That would have been nice. But she probably couldn't have been able to hold it because um, for some reason Black Series figures don't get the awesome hands treatments like Marvel Legends and stuff. We got, like we get trigger finger. We get characters with guns with two guns and only one trigger finger. It's weird. I don't know why Black Series does that. But anyways... Let's move on to Boba Fett. Fennec here looks great, solid figure, but we're gonna move on to the Fett. First off, before we open this guy up, I am gonna say, one, no way in hell should this be a deluxe figure. Um, honestly, what makes this figure deluxe? Um, the fact that he comes with a removable helmet? That shouldn't count. Is it the jetpack, which is an accessory that we've seen with Boba Fett's in the past at a regular price his blaster and his pistol like how does that make it a deluxe figure I have no idea Hasbro's just milking us and uh we're we're suckers so we'll, we'll buy it but uh they actually released another version of this figure just with um more battle damage look from when he first got his armor in the Mandalorian and I believe that has like the Mandalorian color on it and he has has a different side art, but it's basically the exact same figure. Um, I think there's a few different paint apps on that one. Um, I'm probably not going to get that one unless like there's just a bunch of them at Toys R Us and they go on sale or something. But like this guy was almost 60 bucks, man. So like, like what makes this guy double the price? I have no idea, but we're going to open him up. We're going to get into it. We're going to see what he's all about. Uh, let's get him out of this little prison here. Alright, so here's Boba out of the packaging. And he looks cool, man, I will say. It is cool. It is a, di a nice looking figure. Um, I just still cannot get over the price for the accessories. We get his jetpack here. Um, the missile is removable, so that's cool at least. But like even, like having that feature right there. It, there's what I'm going to point out. A deluxe version. Why not include... Like an extra rocket with a flame effect that comes out of here or something, you know? Like, make it different or something. I don't know. But I guess the jetpack itself looks alright. Um, oh, I thought, sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze there. Uh, jetpack looks alright. Not a lot of pain on it. Um, this is obviously different than... We're going to bring in the Cobb Vanth jetpack here. And it's very similar, just repainted. 
Um, different rocket too, as you guys can tell on the, the right sided one is way bigger. Um, so yeah, this is the one that came with Cobb Vanth, and this is obviously this one. Can this one fit on this one's back? Let's see. And it, it does. Okay, so if you wanted to, I don't know why you would, but you could put Cobb Vanth's uh, jetpack on the back of this throne room Boba Fett. Uh, not bad. Let's see a close up here on likeness. Tamora Morrison. I think it looks pretty good. He does obviously have some scars there from uh, being in the Sarlacc pit, crawling out, being in the back to tank, getting some healing going on there. But uh, going over his articulation really quick. He does have some rubber on the top shoulders here, so that does hinder some articulation, but it's pretty soft. So you can open his arms kind of that wide if he wants, if he wants to give, him, give somebody a hug or something. <laughs> um, the waist swivel. Another thing, too, I will say about this figure, I pre-ordered this at GameStop. I don't think it ever showed up, so I ended up just picking it up at Toys R Us, but... Yeah, so if anyone else had this figure pre-ordered from GameStop, you might just want to go to Toys R Us and look for them because I don't think GameStop is uh, getting a lot of these figures shipped to their warehouse. Unfortunately, that's like happening a lot lately, it seems, with EB Games, GameStop. They're just not getting everything, um, which is pretty lame because like they say they get it and then they don't get it. So I don't know. It's It sucks, but what can they do? It's not really their fault. Um, well, it's not the guys at the store's fault, so don't ever yell at them about it. It's not, they can't really control that, but I will say this figure is pretty cool. Let's put this helmet on him. Having this really makes me not really feel like I need the other one that's more battle damaged because it's not, he only really has that battle damaged outfit for like what two episodes, and then we see him at the end of Mandalorian season two with, or maybe no, we see him in. We see him paint the armor before the end of the show, so he looks cool. You gotta have throne room Boba Fett, especially if you want to have him on your Mando shelf, because he was a pretty big character in the Mandalorian season two. I mean, he showed up in that first episode at the end. That was such an awesome little like cliffhanger until like the next episode. Oh my god! I remember being like, "Oh crap, that's Boba. He's alive!" and then. And unfortunately, we got a show about him, which I don't think we necessarily needed. I'm having way too much trouble trying to pit it, put his gun in his hand here. Oh my goodness. What is going on? How can I not get this thumb in there? But, yeah. I don't think we needed a show about Boba Fett. I think we just maybe should have focused on him and, like, a couple other bounty hunters, maybe. I don't think it should have, like, the show should have just been about Boba Fett. Because... There was literally two episodes where he wasn't, like, in him at all. It was just about the Mandalorian, so that's weird enough. I don't know how he's supposed to hold these guns. Like, his finger's not on the trigger there, so I guess he's just going to have his finger off the trigger. But he is cool. It is a nice figure. If you guys do see this, pick it up. I don't... Th oh, yeah, he does have a holster here, too, for his pistol. So you can slide his pistol right in there. Looks nice. Um, I guess you could display him without his helmet if you wanted, but I think he looks badass with the helmet on. Um, another thing too, I thought this was going to be really solid, but it's not. And in the box, for some reason, I thought this was like rubber too, but no, these are like straight up plastic legs. Um, I don't have the Tython, um, one without the armor, so I'm assuming these are the same legs for that. Um, uh, I don't know, so hopefully I can get that figure soon. I wouldn't mind having that one at least, but there's Boba Fett. Let's bring in some uh, figures here to compare them to. We got Fennec, and we have Cobb Vanth here. As you can see, the armor difference on the Boba and the Cobb Vanth. This is what his armor looked like before he repainted it. It is a cool look, classic look, but we already have that classic look with this deluxe Boba Fett, so, I mean, this one's a little bit more damaged from being in the Sarlacc pit, this is the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, so, 
right before he fell in the Sarlacc pit. So there is little differences. I do want to go through all these little jet packs though. Just a quick look. Let's see the differences here. Even these two. A little different. They're all different. So nothing's the same with all of them. I do like how they all have these little thrusters at the bottom. They all move. So if you guys... Another thing they could have added flame effects for for a deluxe figure. Same thing with Cobb Vanth. He was a deluxe. Should have never been a deluxe figure. Um, I guess if you just come with Boba Fett's accessories, you're just a deluxe figure all of a sudden. But I don't know, guys. What do you think? I'm going to start probably slowly getting out of Black Series because I'm almost at the point now where I'm running out of room and there's not many characters left that I feel are essential in my Star Wars Black Series collection, for me anyways. Um, I don't know, just maybe like a few more characters. Like, I feel like we need Lobot and like, I don't know, maybe some more Ewoks. But we do have the 40th anniversary of Jedi coming, so we can't expect to see more Return of the Jedi era figures. I uh, wouldn't mind maybe an Endor trooper, Rebel trooper. Um... But yeah, I don't know, guys. What do you guys think about this Boba Fett and Fennec and Bib Fortuna, I guess? He was part of this review as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I would say I, I recommend it, but at the same time, the price, I get why some people might want to skip out. Especially here in Canada with the prices. Oh, man, it's nuts. Um, but yeah, there's Boba Fett, Fennec, and Bib. Hope you guys enjoyed this little Star Wars review. I don't really do Star Wars figures too often on the channel because I just, I don't know. The Star Wars community is hit or miss sometimes, I feel. It's very divided. So I just try not to dabble into it too much. But if you guys enjoyed this review, hit the like, hit subscribe. A lot of people are watching that aren't subscribed. So if you guys are watching all the time and you guys aren't subscribed, just hit the subscribe button. It's free. Come on, do it. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoy your day and have a good one.